Hi, welcome back to this video. I'm Hannah and this is part, partly a art vlog where I paint one of my new favorite paintings. It's a oil portrait and I really focus on taking my time and putting time into a technique and it is quite small but I'm really, I really enjoy this and I really hope you enjoy the, the process as well. And then the second part is me talking about my art goals and general goals for this year. If you want to skip right to this part, go ahead. Um, if you want to skip to the painting or want to watch the painting, go ahead and know how it feels on my side. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to like merge both of them um, to give you a little painting vlog, but also just in the spirit of a New York talk, New Year talk to you about my art goals. And I really hope you enjoy it. If you have any feedback, any tips, any comments on the video, um, please comment them. And also, if you watch till the art goals. Tell me your art goals, so even if you don't want to watch till then, just tell me your art goals or your general goals. And yeah, if you would like to go on this journey with me, please enjoy this video. I hope you do, and that's it from me for now. Say that everything is okay Cause you're coming back You're coming my way You don't know if you're here to stay But you're coming down You're coming my way That golden clouds in the sunset sky You turned the page and made it alright The amber lights were on in my life But you took them You say that good things take time so with this painting, I really try to slow down. If you've watched my last art vlog, you know that I was struggling with a painting before that and I tried to really take my time with the sketch and I limited myself by using the Soren palette and it really worked out and I was so happy with this last portrait. So if you haven't watched that vlog, go back and watch my last video. Not now, but after you finish this one. And going into this new painting, I was kind of nervous because I was sort of nervous of it only being a one-hit painting um, because that had happened before and I really tried to slow down and like be mindful of which colors I was using and I could tell that I was already feeling too secure of myself in the beginning and yeah so I really had to slow down and just focus and I am really happy with the results. I started by working with only using dark colors and coloring in darks were darker than I would have done that normally but I knew that I would paint over them but if I don't make them dark in the beginning I feel like I, it would the contrast just wouldn't be hard enough so I did that and then I took a day I don't take the night off and I, I stepped away I could have continued painting I hadn't painted for that long but I'm glad I stepped away because I think that's something I need to do more even if it's just taking an hour long break just to come back with fresh eyes and see the painting again because I think while painting, um, if you if there are any painters watching this, please comment if you feel that way too. You can get so lost in painting that you're sort of in like a, I don't know, in like this weird focused mode where you just paint, but then you also sort of lose the eye for the details, or you get too focused on the details and you lose the eye for the overall painting. And I feel like oftentimes it really helps to step back and just take a break and come back the next day with fresh eyes and not so to not overdo it so I came back the next day and I actually didn't really paint for that long um it took me like maybe an hour or two hours I, I'm not quite sure to finish that painting I'm sorry for the angles in that video and the lighting as well my room is really dark there's a lot of wood in it and it gets dark really easily so I don't want and I don't really want to color correct my videos that much because I don't want to change the painting colors and I'm sorry for being in the video like my shoulder and stuff in in the frame that often I really did not do a great job of framing my vi my shots in this video I will try to get, be better at that I think what happened was that I sort of framed them the same as I did in the previous video and it worked out then but the painting was way smaller so obviously I don't know, I just need to pay attention to that the next time, so I'm sorry, I hope you're still continuing to watch it anyhow. Um, but yeah, it just took 
like an hour or two to color in um, and the lights and then I focused on the details and I tried to really like get up and look at my painting from a distance so that I'm not that close up and then I did that multiple times I added some details to it and tweaked some colors in the end and yeah in the end I was really happy with the results and I posted the the picture on social media and got some great feedback and even though yeah I just really I just really enjoyed it so I hope that I can create portraits like that in the future and I hope you enjoyed this painting process stay tuned to just sort of listen to a little chat that I had with you guys on my art goals and please comment your art goals your tips in the comments and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video so far we're well into 2023 but I still thought I would do a 2023 art goals videos for you I really like watching those kind of videos so I thought I would film one myself I don't have really specific goals but I definitely have some things I want to incorporate in this year that will hopefully help me improve my painting practice. I have my notes here so if I look down you know what I'm doing. Um, the first goal that I have is something that you know of already if you've seen my latest video. I want to take my time. That sounds easy but I think I've gotten so used to seeing so many videos of people painting just being sped up that I for some reason think that my painting process needs to be sped up as well. Which is completely not true. Um, and I know that it's not true, but I have not been taking my time. Whenever I do sketches, if I even do sketches, I just smear them down and I don't, I just don't take my time. And I think that's something that I often struggle with and then I have to deal with the consequences later in my painting process. And I didn't go to art school, no one taught me how to paint or draw. So I still have a lot of areas where I'm just doing whatever I think I'm doing I should be doing and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't and I think that's one of my big issues that I don't really have any techniques or any um, yeah just I don't I just don't need to take the time to actually learn and I want to have the security of going into a painting and knowing what I'm doing and knowing that what I'm doing will work out um, and right now I'm just painting and I'm praying that it will work out because most of the time it doesn't it does but then it also doesn't and that can be really frustrating. So for the last two paintings, I've been actually sketching <laughs> in beforehand, which sounds so stupid, but I've been putting down a sketch on canvas and taking at least an hour to complete the sketch and also fill in the areas where I have shadows and already sort of just, yeah, just fill in the areas so that I know when painting what I'm working with. And that's helping me a lot. And it slows down the process, but it also actually just gives me time and forces me to look at the picture I'm painting from and forces me to, to look at it and be like, okay, where do we actually have lights and darks and not just like start painting. Um, the second, oh, also one thing I want to add is in terms of preparing my canvas, I do have a gesso, but I never use it and I should use it, keep using it. Um, my second goal is to just learn painting techniques. Um, I've been limiting myself for like my last two paintings to only use the Sorn palette which consists out of reds, blacks, browns and a white. So we only have four colors and I added, I think I added a blue to it for like the background but that's it and that honestly has been helping me a lot because I always used to mix so many colors into it and just, I don't know, I think it just overwhelmed me or it made everything more chaotic and this process has forced me to just limit myself and also to just slow down and actually mix my colors so that's been really helpful. Um, I want to also learn the techniques of different painters, different masters, I want to do more master copies, maybe even research a specific artist and go like okay I'm gonna copy his, their painting and then use their technique, um, something like that. I definitely just want to focus more on learning and improving and not just doing. Um, next point sort of goes into that as well. It's just getting better at sketching and actually also using my sketchbook and doing just charcoal and um, pencil drawings in there as well. Because I think with drawing I'm really afraid of it in a way because I feel like it's not as forgiving and if you make a, f a mistake or a fault you can always see it immediately. So I definitely want to get better at that and just take the pressure off myself and just work on that because I think 
Um, a lot of people say if you can like look at a painting and you can draw it and you can see the different shadows and values and you can put them on paper, it helps you with your painting process. And I definitely think that's true because I d if I can't sketch, um, I won't be able to sketch my drawing onto a canvas and then paint it. And I think it will just also just school me into like being a better at seeing values when looking at a face or a figure or whatever I'm painting. So definitely want to do that. Um, the next one is to start doing commissions. I've done some commissions in my life before, um, but mostly so far they've been limited to friends and family friends. Right now I'm actually doing a commission for my aunt and in a way I would like to keep doing that um, because my next year will be really stressful, I'll be graduating from uni and starting my masters and there's a lot of things I don't really know yet how much time I will have. But I would also love to just start doing commissions and I don't know yet how I'm going to do that, if I'm going to limit them to Germany only or if I'm going to do them internationally, how I will figure out the whole paying thing or shipping, um, so we will see. If I do that, I think it will definitely, um, I will definitely won't start doing that till mid-year or the end of this year, but we will see. There's a lot of stuff up in the air for my next year, so we will see how much time I have, but I, that's definitely a goal of mine. Um, another goal is to have another art show. I was really fortunate to have two art shows last year and I got to do an art show with a lot of friends of mine which was a lot of fun and I would love to do something like that again. We don't have anything specifically planned yet but we've definitely been talking about doing another one and yeah that might be happening in, in the summer or in autumn and that would be really exciting. Um, the other one actually has something to do with YouTube. I want to get better at filming and narrating my videos. I've been having a lot of fun with uploading and filming, even though I haven't posted that much this year because I lost stress of uni and I went on a study abroad um, and I wasn't painting and if I don't paint I don't have anything to post, but I'm just really excited to get better at it and actually have a story that I'm telling with my videos, have different kinds of videos and you guys can definitely help me with that. I'd love to know what kind of things you've liked about my channel so far, which segments you like. I've been trying out to... Um, do videos where I've sit down parts like this right now or I've been trying to do videos where I just have a voiceover and I personally like both I like watching both like making both I would love to just have your feedback and also just if you have any ideas of or any tips on what you want to see from me any art challenges or sit down videos things you'd like me to talk about please just put them in the comments and give me some feedback I definitely want to just be more mindful about filming and also just get better equipment. I want to get a microphone for sure. That's the main thing I want to get and different things. We will see if I will be able to get all of those things, but definitely a microphone so I can have better voice over parts. And then the last point is something that comes with a big question mark where I'm also going to rely on your feedback and your, just your ideas on it. If you know me, in real life you know that I love reading and reading is something I do like every day I just love it and I love watching reading content I love watching booktube and I think art content and book content is something that could be merged and I don't want to make this a book channel so don't be scared of that um but I was thinking of maybe doing a monthly sit down video where I talk about the paintings I've painted this month and what I've learned what's what I've done what's my favorite what's been my favorite painting and then also just incorporate my favorite books or the books I've read or just whatever I do in art blog and I could have a little seg segment in it where I just talk about the book I'm cu currently reading. Um, so if you want to support that, if you like that idea, just put that in the comments. If you have any ideas of how I could incorporate books, please just t t tell me about it and help me with that. And yeah, those are my goals. As you can tell, they're not that specific, but they're really focused on just slowing down and just learning. I want to take this year to just learn how to get better, learn how to paint, how to be secure in painting, and I will take you on this journey with me, and I'm really excited for it. So, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!